Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1486. Hey, in this video, we got to see how to look up the latest product price based on a date. And we're going to see how to do this with the VLOOKUP and MAX IFS functions. Now, if you go over to the sheet all, the problem is this. We have a product price lookup table with duplicate products and an effective date which defines which price to use. So over here in our transaction set, 226 and 217 for ABC product has to use the correct effective date price of $10. Over here, 31 and 41, well, that would be effective date 31. So these dates are greater than or equal to that, but not yet 715. So that is 12. And finally, these ABCs, of course, get 9 because these dates fall after that date. Now, in our five videos we're doing on this topic, the first two required a certain type of sort on our lookup table. The last one didn't require any sort. But in all three videos, and the last one also, the main problem with this lookup table is that we don't have a first column with a unique identifier. So in this video, we're still going to have to use max ifs to deal with a date that's not the same as over here. But we're going to make it easy on ourselves. We're simply going to add a unique identifier that VLOOKUP can use to look at to get the correct price. All right, let's go over to 148387. Here's our product effective date and price lookup table. Well, guess what? Down here for any particular record, we have two lookup values. Anytime you have two lookup values, you have a difficult formula. But if these two values were combined in our formula and it matched the first column, then we could do a straight V lookup. Well, let's create this key, this first column. Equals product, and we're going to use the ampersand, the join symbol, Shift 7. Now, of course, formulas do not see number formatting. And dates have lots of number formatting. Under that date is a serial number. So when I Control Enter, actually increase the column width, and copy it down, those are the serial number dates that underlie our dates. But that is going to work for us. We now have a unique identifier that combines product and effective date. Now, the last problem we have to deal with here is we can't do a straight VLOOKUP joining those two items as our lookup value in VLOOKUP because that's not the same. That 226 really should be 1-1-2018. So no problem. Just like our last video, we're going to use the max ifs function to look this up with two conditions. Go and get the correct effective date for this first record. It should be 1 1 2018. Bring it back to the cell. So equals max ifs. Uh oh, max ifs. That's only in Office 365, Excel 2016, or later. If you don't have that one, we'll look at the aggregate solution below in this sheet afterwards. That's for Excel 2010 or later. All right, I need to get the max range from the effective date column. So I highlight, hit the F4 key to lock it, comma. And now I have two conditions to pick out the right date. I'm going to start with criteria range product, F4, comma. And the criteria, of course, will be as a relative cell reference, the product, comma. Criteria range 2, well, now I need to look through the effective date column, F4 to lock it, comma. And just like the prior three videos, our condition for picking out the right dates is in double quotes, less than or equal to, and double quotes. And we have to use the join symbol, Shift 7, to get our date. What this means is I'm asking, hey, any of you, are you less than or equal to 226? Well, right now, for this particular record, there's only one. Well, that'll pick out ABC and that date. Max ifs will return 1 1 2018. So that will work. Close parentheses, Control Enter, Control 1, and I'm going to add date just for a moment. Click OK. I'm going to copy this down. And you can see now we have a condition we can match 
against the effective date column. Each one of these, if I go down to 930 ABC F2, that max ifs is, in essence, looking up the correct match date from that order date. Now, for this particular record right here, notice the 930. I asked the question, how many of you dates are less than or equal to? Well, that gives us all three dates. But luckily, max ifs picks out the correct 715 date. Escape. Now I'm going to highlight Control-1, General, Enter. Now come to the top cell, F2. That's the date, and we need to join it. Now, over in this column, we joined product and our date. So now I'm going to take the product and join it to the date. And there's our lookup value for VLOOKUP. Now I come after the equal sign, VL tab. There it is. Comma. And the table, I have a perfect table that that lookup value can work on. I highlight the whole table all the way to the price column, which is the fourth column, F4 to lock it, comma. And look at that. It's asking me which column has the price. It's four. We definitely, comma, are doing exact match because we want to exactly match whatever the correct serial number is from max ifs and our product. So I'm using either exact match false, or you can type a 0. And that formula will work. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. All the way down it works. And this formula will also work no matter how we sort this. If I sort this oldest to newest, and then this column, A to Z, however we sort this table, that formula will work. Now, if you don't have max ifs, because you don't have Excel 2016 or later, F2 down here, you can use the aggregate function. And that is the substitute. Aggregate has different functions. 14 means, hey, please do large. 6 means ignore errors. And there's a big array calculation to substitute for max ifs. And then the K, because we don't have max ifs, we're doing large. Number 1 large means it will get the maximum value based on those conditions. Now, we're not going to manually create this aggregate in this video, but there's a link to see how to use the aggregate function to do max if. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and sub, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, including our last video about this lookup problem, 1487. We'll actually see how to simulate this helper column inside our formula. And we'll use index and match and an array formula. All right, we'll see you next video.